Good morning. Uh, today the church remembers um, Jesuit and Oblate martyrs, uh, St. John de Berbeuf and Isaac Jokes and their co six companions who were martyred in North America. So our entrance antiphon, may we never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the word of the cross is the power of God to us who have been saved. We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we continue, we ask the Lord for pardon for our sins, sins that have caused division, violence, and hurt in our world. We pray for God's healing and pardon. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who chose to manifest the blessed hope of your eternal kingdom by the toil of Saints John de Berbeuf, Isaac Jogues, and their companions, and by the shedding of their blood, graciously grant that through their intercession the faith of Christians may be strengthened day by day. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we hold this treasure in earthen vessels that the surpassing power may be of God and not from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not constrained, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying about in the body the dying of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our body. For we who live are constantly being given up to death for the sake of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Since then, we have the same spirit of faith according to what is written. I believe, therefore I spoke. We too believe and therefore speak, knowing that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will also raise us, us also with Jesus and place us with you in his presence. Indeed, everything is for you, so that the grace bestowed in abundance on more and more people may cause the thanksgiving to overflow from the glory of God. the word of the Lord. Those who saw in tears shall reap rejoicings. Those who saw in tears shall reap rejoicing. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. Those who saw in tears shall reap rejoicing. Then they said among the nations, 
The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. Those who saw in tears shall reap rejoicing. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those who saw in tears shall reap rejoicing. Those who saw in tears shall reap rejoicing. Although they go forth weeping, getting the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Uh, please stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Go and teach all nations, says the Lord. I am with you always until the end of the word. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, those who heeded the words of Jesus to go into the nations to preach his kingdom is the saints, uh, they are the saints that we remember today. Father John de Brebeuf, he was from, um, he was a Jesuit from France, and he was a leader of this group of uh, um, eight total of uh, missionaries that came to North America in the early 1600s. So John de Brebeuf had worked here in North America for 24 years already, and living among the Huron Indians, he composed a dictionary, a catechism, and their language. And he saw to the conversion of 7,000 7, before his death. Realizing the danger, savagery, and brutal tortures that would befall him if he was ever captured by unfriendly natives, he nonetheless prayed that he might offer himself for them. He must have anticipated this because in his diary, he wrote that he experienced an intense desire to be a martyr. He wrote, Jesus, my Lord and Savior, what can I give you in return for all the favors you have first conferred on me? I will take from your hand a cup of your sufferings and call on your name. I vow before your eternal Father and the Holy Spirit, to you, Jesus, my Savior, that as far as I have the strength, I will never fail to accept the grace of martyrdom, if someday you in your infinite mercy should offer it to me, your most unworthy servant. I bind myself in this way so that for the rest of my life, I will have neither permission nor freedom to refuse opportunities of dying and shedding my blood. I bind myself to this so that on receiving the blow of death, I shall accept it from your hands with the fullest delight and joy of spirit. Father John was captured by the Iroquois Indians and died after four hours of extreme torture at St. Marie in Canada. We're fortunate that we don't face dangers for holding on to our faith. 
Yet at times we are also tested by trials. May their example inspire us to offer our trials and disappointments as a sacrifice for the salvation of souls. As Father Isaac, John, and their companions have done. Let us pray. Let us pray then for the Jesuit community to which our martyrs belong, that they may continue to serve the Lord with love and zeal. We pray to the Lord. For the leaders experiencing conflict, that they may receive the graces needed to care for their people and the innocent victims caught in the cycle of violence. We pray to the Lord. For peace in the Middle East, for the safe release of hostages, for the safety of civilians, and that they may find a way to live in peace and prosperity together. We pray to the Lord. For those who are sick, those whom we have promised our prayers, we remember Mary Jean Dominguez, Mike O'Connell, Mary Kalika, and Charlie Cunningham. For all whom we have promised our prayers, we pray to the Lord. Remember also those who have died, Father Ed Bonner, Mr. Long Tam, and for their families who mourn and grieve their passing, we pray to the Lord. And this Mass is being offered for the intentions of Susanna Chang. So for her health, for her well-being, for her relationships with her family and friends, I invite you also to take a moment of silence to offer your own personal intentions. For all of our intentions, we pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, into your hands we command our cares, worries, and fears, but always confident that you will hear and will answer in the way that is best for us. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray then, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. As we venerate the passion of your martyrs, Isaac and John and their companions, grant that through this sacrifice, O Lord, we may proclaim worthily the death of your only begotten Son, who not content with encouraging the martyrs by word, strengthen them likewise by example. 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are by wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. Through their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Jesus, your Son. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out and without end, acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread and giving you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross. He took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, and those who unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles and all the saints and with our deceased brothers and sisters whom we humbly command to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made holy into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ who lives 
for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With one heart and one faith, together we pray. Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
communion antiphon. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by the example of blessed Isaac and John and their companions, we may bear in our hearts the marks of your son's charity and suffering and ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Looks like it's going to be summer.